And we're back live on the Yellow Jacket Sports Network. 37 to 30, MSUB leading Western Oregon here at halftime. An exciting first half, wasn't it? A lot of three balls going in. Yeah, it's, it's fun to watch when the threes are coming down like that. It's a lot of fun. That's Tanya peterson Hauptman, Yellow Jacket women's basketball alum and new Hall of Fame inductee. That was last night. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It was an amazing night. Yeah, it was a fun ceremony over at the Hilton Garden Inn. You were one of three uh, former student athletes inducted to the Hall of Fame. And I know it, it sort of sounds like a beaten record at this point, but can you describe kind of what was going through your mind at the actual ceremony when it, when it became a reality for you? You know, it was really emotional. It was, um, Coach Wynn gave a fabulous speech and he kind of tore me up and I had to talk after him. So it was really surreal, you know, um, being there with uh, family and friends, it was just really cool. And as you reflect on uh, those past times as a, as a player here at MSUB and the type of success you guys had, um, what does that mean to be able to come here and watch the Yellow Jackets play? Do you think about that frequently when you're here? Oh yeah, I mean, coming here and watching them play, it just, it brings back so many memories and so many fond memories and I, I just love being able to bring my kids um, who are always running around up here. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's been more than a decade since Kevin Wooden took over as head coach here at MSUB. Uh, we could really say that it all started with you. It was at Billings West High School. He was your head coach and then you came here out of high school. He sort of followed you. His first year was your junior season. Talk about um, your relationship with Kevin a little bit, what it's been like um, knowing him this long and, and starting your career playing for him. You know, uh, Coach Wynn is a fabulous coach. He uh, does a tremendous job recruiting. Um, he recruits, uh, you know, the person and not just the athlete. And that's pretty evident by his graduation rate and his success on the court. So, you know, it's Looking back, I've known him over almost 20 years now, and I just uh, really admire him, and he's a really fabulous human and uh, fabulous coach. Several of the current Yellow Jacket women's players were at the Hall of Fame ceremony last night. Um, what did that mean to you, if anything special, just to, to kind of have them in the presence and realize you're getting this honor and you're looking at uh, future players who have a chance to do that throughout their career as well? Yeah, and I, I tried to um, talk to them a little bit about how fast it goes and how to take advantage of it because uh, those four years seem to fly by. And, um, you know, it's when you're in the moment, it seems like it's going so slow, but you look looking back, it flew by for me. And so just reminding them of that, um, you know, you don't get a chance to redo this and to work hard now and in the moment. So it was fun to have them there too. And talk about what it means to be back here in Billings. You live here, you work here, uh, you're raising your family here, you're able to come out um, and, and watch the games in the, in the gym that you played in. Talk about what it means uh, to be part of this community coming out of MSUB and, and how the, uh, your degree here and your career here has helped. You know, the Billings community is always been a fabulous community and always been great supporters of Yellow Jacket Athletics. So I'm really proud to be back here, working here. Um, got my education here and um, a fabulous opportunity to play here. And so it's, it's really nice to be back in Billings um, after being gone for seven years and being able to expose my children to the community and um, the Yellow Jacket Athletic Program. That's right, you've got three little ones and, and I remember you telling me you, you kind of took them out into the Hall of Fame area, showed them the plaques. You said it didn't quite sink in, but yeah. uh, maybe they were just starting to understand a little uh, seven, five, and two, is yeah, that correct. right? Yeah, for the ages, but yeah. talk about what it was like uh, showing them that and, and when they start to realize uh, what, what mom accomplished here. You know, I took my daughter out and we saw the plaques and they were looking at it last night when we got home. and. Uh, so my oldest is really like, oh, okay, I, I'm understanding that this is kind of a big deal. And, um, you know, it'll be exciting when my other two grow up a little bit more to, to show them the Hall of Fame wall. And um, hopefully they'll be able to remember a little bit of this, at least the two older ones will. So uh, it's just, you know, really cool. Who knows, maybe they'll have their own plaque up there one day. I hope so. <laughs> I, I hear that they're uh, they're taking a liking to sports mentioned that yeah. uh, you're preaching sports to them. You're going to let them decide on their own what they want to do, but yeah. i, I got to think that you're going to sway basketball. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're going to influence them. We already are having them here at all the Yellow Jacket games. Actually, my son, we, we frequently, when we can't catch the games, we watch him at home, and he's always wanting our tablet to watch basketball. So 
it's pretty cool to see him already um, excited about Yellow Jackets. So it's fun. Well, thanks for joining us here tonight, yeah, Tanya. Yeah. Appreciate you taking the time. Tanya Peterson Houtman joining us for a halftime interview. One of the newest Hall of Fame inductees for the Yellow Jackets. If you stick around and watch our men's broadcast, we will honor the three inductees at halftime of that game as well. You're watching Yellow Jacket women's basketball here on the sports network of MSUB 37-30. Rather, the Yellow Jackets leading Western Oregon at halftime. We'll take a quick break and be right back. 